Right, hi guys, welcome back to the Orange Desk. Today we're going to look at basing. Um, so we're continuing, that's right, continuing with the cultists that I've been building. Um, yeah, with a bit of conversions, added a few extra bits, kind of pitchfork sort of style extras. Um, bags and bits, I showed that in the last video. Today we're going to look at basing, and also I'm going to show you how to sort of get a bit of variation in cultists, um, especially if you've got a lot of them and you don't want to spend that much time painting really individual stuff. It's a problem with human base figures, they need a lot of detail. So here's here's one that's spray painted grey. Let me get the focus right. So, so he's base coated grey and then, oh you can see it on the base actually, I didn't paint this bit black. So it's like a cheap grey primer from Halford, so it's like cheap, super cheap. And then he, this hood bit's painted black. But his double uh, is basically just all black with brown shoes. You have to do a little bit. Well, I don't like to... Uh, I like to dry brush the little grey bits there. But yeah, so so there's two. They're the same models, but from a distance, they'll look different. On the table, they do look quite different. Another example is the gas mask guy. There you go, same kind of thing. He's spray-painted grey with a black hood, which I quite like that look. And then he's just completely black. Also, he's got red eyes, he's got green eyes. You know, little details like that can make a difference. Or like if you do the pendant, one on gold, one on silver, you know. Just to get some tiny bit of variation. So there we go. Now, basing, that's what I came here to talk about. If you look at this guy, let me get him focused. There, the basing, what we're going to use to get that effect. I, did, I used to use uh, GW's textured paints, but they're actually more fiddly than this method that I've come up with. Let me get it out of the desk here. So, we get a little tray to, uh, so I don't have to do too much hoovering later on. A little tiny bag of what they call in America kitty litter. It's just called cat litter. I don't know why why it's kitty and why it's cat in, in, in the UK, but anyway. So that's kind of ground up and it looks... I'll show you properly here. It's that kind of bits. I mean, you've seen this before probably. So we're going to use some of that. And then to get the finer sort of granules, just got a little tiny bag of like sand off the beach, I guess. Like that. That's that. Okay, so, now to actually do the sticking, we need glue. I tend to use this just because it's what I've got in the house. It's just PVA, basically. It's just, like, strong PVA. Um, yeah, it works pretty well. And once it's sprayed, it looks really good. It dries fairly quickly. I've got some water also, just to, just to give it, just to water it down a tiny bit. That's why I like using PVA, actually. So... What I do, take our little converted champion, put a dollop there, can you see what I'm doing? No, maybe not, whoops, there we go, dollop there, a dollop there, maybe another dollop, I like that word, the back, wet the brush, let's move that out of the way there. And then just uh, kind of move it around so it covers the whole base. It looks a bit messy. The work, I mean, it's it is a little bit it gets on your fingers a bit, but it's only PVA, so it's not the end of the world. Let's get it. That's why I like to use a tiny bit of water as well because it lets it sort of thin. in itself, there we are, it's quite quick, that didn't take very long at all, and then, I usually do these in batches, but I'm, so, yeah, you covered the whole base there, 
And you can do it with the miniature on it, that's the other thing that I quite like it. So now I'm going to get the little tray. This is how we stop making too much mess. The little tray. We do just a few sprinkles. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's that. And then we get the sand, which is in this little bag here. And this, this you can add a lot more because it's kind of, depends what kind of base you want really, but I'm just going for the, the quickest, easiest, post-apocalyptic style base <laughs> that we can go for. I mean, people put like cork and, I, on bigger, bigger bases, I'll show you, look, here's the hell brute. So actually, I'm, I'm talking about two things. So he, that's now, you see that? That's just, that's how it looks now. Like that, and I'll just leave him there, pop him down there to dry. Yeah, but with the hell brute, talking about basing. So here's the hell brute. Those like bigger chunks. I mean, he comes with this little base, his foot is on a base there. And that's like mostly cat litter stuff bit of sand. But the bigger chunks is just cut up sprue and just glue them down. Once they've been dry brushed, once they've been sprayed and then a bit of dry brushing, a bit of shading and stuff. It looks really good. So that's that's on bigger bases. Um, yeah on, on like let me show you here. So on like a really big base, like a flyer base. I mean so this is the the Hell Drake shot there. I just like carve big pieces of sprue. I mean people go to town you could make like a whole diorama on the base of a there's loads of space there but you know depends how much time you got and children. So yeah that's basing I'm gonna move on. I'll do two I'll show you with another one just a little So again, dollop, dollop at the back, we'll take the brush, we'll spread it. The other thing is the cat litter and the, the sand soak up the water, so even if you make it a bit runny, and a bit messy. You can just run your finger around the edge of the base to tidy it up afterwards. If you can see what I'm doing there. That's it. Get our little bits of flecks of cat litter there. Just just a few of that. Just just to Get some variation in there, and then well, it's difficult to show this on camera. Sprinkle, sprinkle the sand on afterwards. And there you go. See, it's quick. Look, in under ten minutes, I've done two. If I was using the GW stuff, it takes ages, but that looks pretty good. And then when you spray paint it, it's perfect. So thanks for watching guys, that's that's how I base my stuff, um, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, I'm going to spray paint these today, so then you get to see, I'll paint them up, I'll try and do that on camera too. Alright, take care for now, don't forget to subscribe, bye!